What is COVID-19? It is a disease of the airways that is similar to a cold or the flu. Common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, dry cough, difficulty breathing, runny nose, sore throat, headache, aching muscles and joints, and nausea. Most people who get COVID-19 experience only mild discomfort, but some get seriously ill with difficulty breathing and pneumonia. Worst case, it can lead to death. Those who risk getting seriously ill are those of a high age or those who already have other diseases, like high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, or diabetes. You can also get sicker if you smoke. We say that those who risk becoming seriously ill from COVID-19 belong to a risk group. But sometimes, even those who do not belong to a risk group become seriously ill as well. But why do people get the disease? COVID-19 is caused by a virus in the coronavirus family. The coronavirus infects mammals, birds and humans. There are several coronaviruses, but the virus that causes COVID-19 is called SARS-CoV-2. It is a new virus that people have not yet built up an immune system against. SARS-CoV-2 is short for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus 2. Respiratory means that the disease has to do with breathing. But where does the virus come from? At the end of 2019, many people became ill with pneumonia in the Chinese city of Wuhan. They discovered that the people were infected with a new virus, SARS-CoV-2. The virus then quickly spread from person to person in the city of Wuhan. Infected people carried the virus to other places in China. And before long, the country was suffering from an epidemic. An epidemic is when many people within an area suffer from a disease in a short time. Infected people then carried the virus to other countries. The virus spread in more and more countries and more and more people became ill. On the 11th of March 2020, the World Health Organization, WHO, classified the breakout of COVID-19 as a pandemic. A pandemic is when an epidemic quickly spreads across the world or across several continents. More and more people in the world are becoming infected. And healthcare services in the countries struggle to help everyone who gets seriously ill from COVID-19. It is very problematic. Therefore, the authorities in many countries work to slow down the spread of the virus. By taking various measures, they want the curve showing the number of cases to flatten to give healthcare more time to help everyone. So, how can we flatten the curve? Well, by protecting ourselves and those in the risk group from becoming infected. The virus is usually transmitted by an infected person coughing or sneezing. Droplets of the virus can then travel through the air and end up on someone close by. We call this droplet infection. If you get the infection on your hands and then touch your face, the virus can end up in your nose, mouth or eyes. Droplets of the virus can also end up on objects and surfaces where they can live for several days. Here is how you can protect yourself and others. Keep a distance of 1 to 2 meters to others. Wash your hands often and carefully in warm water for at least 30 seconds. Do not touch your face as you may bring the infection to your mucous membranes. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. And you must stay home if you're sick. 
Remember that even if you, as a young person, usually only get mild symptoms, you can still spread the disease quickly, which is what we must avoid. As long as there is no vaccine against this disease, we must all help by protecting ourselves and others from becoming infected.